Hello everyone, welcome back. Crosstown Gamer here, and we are going to be resuming our playthrough of Cuba Libre. Once more, I am going to be playing the 26th July faction, and we will be utilizing the bots for the remaining factions. So, uh, we got through a couple of cards last time, and uh, we had a base up in La Habana, and that ended up getting destroyed and it was probably foolish of me to have placed it there in the first place um you know but uh, them's the breaks that's what we got to work through so um we were able to strengthen our stronghold in uh, matanzas there and get some troop or some gorillas in camagüey as well and we have a ton of um gorillas sorry i keep calling them troops that's wrong nomenclature a uh, ton of gorillas in Sierra Maestra. Uh, so let's see how things go <clears throat> with the next card. Um, just a reminder as well, the government does have a momentum card out, so um, it will end up doing a uh, more, more efficient version of their airstrike. Um, so I have gone through and adjusted support and uh, victory conditions for all the factions to make sure we're good there. Let's take a look at the next card. So it is Yano. The Syndicate are up first, they're first eligible, and they are eligible, so they will end up taking the event. Uh, so they're going to select a city and remove any opposition there and place an open casino. So, they, it says any city, and what they're going to do is they're going to uh, remove any opposition and place an open casino, and they're going for the place with the most amount of opposition. So. They would pick either Havana, but that has no opposition. Camagüey has no opposition. Similarly, Santiago de Cuba has no opposition, so it wouldn't do that. Um, they're not going to remove that then, but they are going to place an open casino. So, um, when there is a, a choice between spaces, they're going to pick the place that um, allows you to place the most bases or units, whatever. The bots are typically... Uh, wanting to maximize their their gains. Um, Havana already has two open casinos, so it's at its stacking limit. So it has to choose between Camagüey and Santiago de Cuba. None of the removal um, criteria for the card are in place, so it just has to pick randomly. So we're just going to roll a die. Where's the green one? Here it is. Um, and we'll just say one, two, three is going to be Camagüey, and four, five, six is going to be Santiago de Cuba. Okay, so it was a two, so that means they're going to be placing their open casino here in Camagüey. So that's going to make their um, total amount of open casinos go up to five. So they're actually getting a little closer to the victory condition for for that faction than I would like. Hopefully, we can start closing these down. Um, so that was the event. Pretty straightforward and basic. We're going to move that uh, there. And then next what we have to do is look at the directorio. What are they going to do? So the syndicate already did the event, so they're going to end up doing an operation and special activity. Let's look at their flowchart again. Uh, can the directorio terror in an active space or assassinate a government base? Still no government bases out there. Um, and then... So can they terror in an active space? And if we recall, terror requires there to be an underground gorilla there. They only have underground gorillas in Matanza, or La Habana, sorry, uh, which is passive, not active, and Camagüey, which is passive, not active, and Oriente, which is neutral. So that's gonna be a no. Then do they have six plus gorillas available or Rally would place a base? This is true, they have, what, nine? Um, available and I believe they have the ability to place a base in Camagüey now that they have three but let's double check to be sure um, so yes so in neutral or passive spaces uh, gorillas to underground in all spaces with active gorillas they don't have any active um, a DR base and a cube so they don't that's not satisfied um, number two here is to place bases where there are at least three uh, directorial gorillas and room so they do have that in Camagüey. it is a passive space um, which is one of the requirements and they have three there so they will end up rallying 
in Camagüey. Then, uh, place gorillas at locations where there are already directorial bases. Well, there aren't any yet. Um, then, where there are gorillas already there, and then at one random space. So, there are also gorillas. Uh, we keep basically doing the same thing for them on their turn. Um, here, here, and here. And that's passive, that's neutral. Okay, so those requirements are satisfied. So those three spaces. And then it says one random space. And we do have to be careful though because uh, they only have four resources. So we can only do um, four spaces. We have three already selected. So the random space still um, still works for them. So we're going to roll the roll the dice here. It's a two and a one. A one and a two is La Habana. That space is already selected. So Pinar del Rio. That has active support, so um, it's not going to um, meet the qualifications there. Matanzas is passive, so that, that works for them. So they'll place one there. So that's four spaces. And so that'll use up all of their resources. Okay. And um, with all their resources used, so okay, they don't have any bases, so, um, but they will make a base here. So they're going to remove these two gorillas and place a base. Good for them. That shifts their pop plus bases up by one. Uh, we'll put it underneath. And then they're going to get one gorilla in each of the remaining three. Oh, son of a gun. I think this was here. Uh, one gorilla in each of the remaining uh, locations that they've chosen. So one there. Uh, oops, it was one here. I removed the marker and then didn't remove this marker. Um, and then one there. Okay. And then they are going to then they are going to do their special activity. So they are going to subvert in any spaces where they control. Um, they actually lost control here because there were three gorillas. We removed two of them and replaced with the base, so they only have two, and uh, we have two there. So th this is an uncontrolled space now, um, which will cause their population to go back down. So this ends up going back down to three. So you trade one for one there and that's fine. Um, still uh, meet conditions. No other control has changed there. So we're okay. Anyway, in uh, directorio controlled provinces, if the 26th July is at victory, not true. So skip that. Otherwise remove the most support if neither applies at higher, higher population. So the only directorial controlled location now is Oriente, and so they're going to subvert there and get two resources back. So they will all adjust their resources back up to two. So half price for their, their rally. Then we end up moving eligibility and adjusting that, and that was the Yano card. Now comes the map card. Uh, this is another government momentum. It has a special um, halo around the icon, which means that they're probably going to do a special activity instead, or operations and special activity instead, um, which they would do regardless because they already have a momentum card in play. But let's see what the next card is as well. Ambassador Smith. Cool. Um, so the government's going to go. It's going to do a Operation and Special Activity. Um, so it'll go there. And let's look at the flow chart to see what it does. Um, is there a government base or city that uh, lacks government control, troops, or police? No. I paused, I paused the video again, sorry. I, I wanted to double check because I was looking at their total support and it's right on the cusp of them having a, a win here, an early win. So 
Um, <laughs> I, would, I would hate to lose in the very first propaganda round. Uh, that would just be embarrassing. So we need to make something happen here. Um, so this is a no. Uh, they have control in all the cities. Um, and they have police and troops everywhere. Um, so no. July 26th and Directorio at Economic Centers. Again, this is a no. Um, then assault plus special activity would add government control or remove a base or three plus guerrillas. They don't really have anywhere that they have troops that doesn't also have control for them. So that's going to be a no as well. <clears throat> so then we go into sweep. Select all spaces um, to activate underground 26 July or directorial guerrillas. Wherever there's support, then at Havana, and then uh, where there are cubes already. So where there's support, let's see. In Havana, there's no um, guerrillas at all. In fact, the only places that share both uh, troops or cubes at all and guerrillas is going to be at La Habana. That does have support, so they are going to try to sweep there. Um, so they'll do that. Oops, right here. <clears throat> then losing no government control, they can also move in troops needed to activate all guerrillas available and add government control. So what this means is, if we look at the regular chart for sweep, you can move any troops into adjacent selected spaces and then activate uh, one guerrilla per cube. So, for example, they have um, they have troops here in Las Villas and they have the ability to move some of those troops without giving up control of Las Villas. So they want to do that and then into a place where they can activate as many uh, people as possible. So if we look, that could happen in Camagüey too and in Santiago de Cuba um, and in Havana. So let's let's take a look at the flowchart and see what it says. Also moving troops needed to activate all guerrillas or add government control. Um, so, uh, let me just double check. I don't know if they don't move anything in if they can't satisfy those conditions. For example, they could move two cubes here into here, but that's not enough to activate all the gorillas available. Let me just double check. Okay, once again, I am just... I know the rules are super literal, and so I just need to take my time in doing this and not have to stop and start so many times. So when they're selecting, first they're going to select spaces, and then they're going to carry out the remaining two things at all of those locations. So they're going to select spaces to activate guerrillas, so spaces where there are guerrillas and support. That's La Habana that we figured out. Then they're going to try to sweep in Havana City, or where there are cubes already. And so for a maximum of nine resources. In the rules... The sweep condition says you're going to um, you sweep in spaces to activate those gorillas. So they're not going to select any uh, locations where there are no gorillas there. Um, they're simply going to select the spaces first, which we've already done. These are the only that's the only eligible spot. It's going to cost them three resources. Um, oh, I guess they can't go in another they can't go in another spot anyway because they're below oh no it only costs two resources per so one two um and then um they're going to losing no government control also move in the the areas to activate all gorillas and add government control so in this location they have a surplus of zero because even if they removed a troop to go somewhere else to get control of that area uh, that would leave them with three troops versus three uh, of their opposing factions and that would be that that would mean that they would lose control of this spot so they're not going to do that then they're going to activate all of the gorillas in that location um, 
first they're going to target me as 26 July, but I don't have any cubes or gorillas there. So they're going to just do this. Activate those. And that's all they can do for that. Then they are going to airstrike and their government. Um, ooh, you know, I think they're actually supposed to airstrike first. No, there, there's something. Ah, that, that's for the assault. Um, so they're going to airstrike. Their government momentum allows them to remove two pieces here. So they're going to look for places where they can remove base. And so we can check if they can do that at Camagüey. I don't think they can. Um, airstrike uh, is any one province, but remove active guerrillas or bases. Bases last. So um, because there's a piece protecting that, they can't remove any bases. Then they are going to choose to remove gorillas where there are cubes. And um, so they get to do two pieces. So they get to remove both of these uh, directorio gorillas with their airstrike. So that's brutal for the directorio. And really for me too, I like to have them uh, kind of back me up in some of these places for now while we're both super far away from victory. Okay, so that was their airstrike. Now it's up to us. We can do the event or we can do a uh, special activity and operation. I think we're probably going to end up doing a special activity and operation. Uh, we can replace a cube with any two gorillas. So we could, we could jump right in there and try something. But I think what we're going to do is actually march. So we're going to march a bunch of gorillas from here into Santiago de Cuba. We want to take away control. Um, as well as potentially into Oriente and definitely into this economic center so that the government doesn't get as many resources. So let's look at March. So any spaces, one resource per destination. We are at four, so we can do this in potentially four. Economic centers are zero. So it's destination city, not origin city. In Falling Sky, it's based on your origin city. Um, it's a little different, <clears throat> but... So that'll cost us zero. And uh, so we're going to move into adjacent spaces. Um, I'm just trying to think about how I want to mark this. So we're going from here. This is fine. Um, and then we definitely want to go into here. How many gorillas do we have here? Four. We have nine. No, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, ten. So uh, we want to get like five in here. And then three in there, and then we'll still have two left over. Oh, no, 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 because I don't know if we want to go into Oriente then. Uh, well, let's just go for it. Um, and then do we want to march in anywhere else? Probably not. I think that's kind of safe where it's at. We could try to go into this spot here. Um, but the directorio would then be able to subvert and get more resources because they'd control that space. So, yeah, I think this is good for now. It'll cost us two resources because the economic center is free. So we will spend one, two. Everyone's getting real low. So it means a prop card's probably coming up. Um, and then we can take five gorillas here. We are going to take this Santiago de Cuba if it's the last thing we do. And we want one. We only need one in the economic center. And then let's do like two into here. Uh, just enough so that they're like, oh, are you going to pop a base down? I don't know. Um, oh, yeah. I already did this one. Okay. So... We marched, and if the destination, ooh, right, so we do, um, destination spot. So gorillas plus cubes exceeds three, activate all the gorillas. Won't happen in the economic center because we just moved in one. Um, we just moved in two there. This, on the other hand, was a big move, so we actually do have to uh, flip all of our gorillas there. 
I really am praying that that's not going to be a huge deal for us. We're going to get to flip them all next time when we rally or do whatever else. Um, but you got to break some eggs if you want to play Cuba Libre. So there's that. Um, and this goes away and it turns into July 26 control. And hopefully if we can oust these guys, uh, we can do terror here and flip it hopefully all the way eventually to, um, active opposition. That'll be really excellent for us. Okay. We can do a special activity, which is infiltrate. And a space without support, with or next to an underground uh, gorilla, we can remove or replace one cube there. Okay. With or next to a space without support, with an underground gorilla or next to an un underground gorilla, we can remove or replace a cube, cube there. So... Um, with or next, so police first, we could replace a government cube in Camagüey and they would lose control there too, because this is next to a space with a 26 July underground gorilla, right? I think I'm reading that correctly. Um, so next to, we can remove a cube there or replace it with a 26 July gorilla. And then take any cash. There's only cash in Havana right now, so we're fine there. So next to, we have this. We're going to replace this. It said police first, so that there with our last remaining 26 July gorilla here. And now this space no longer has control either because it's two to two. So this is uncontrolled. And that goes back <clears throat> in the tin. Excellent. Okay, we really got their goat. Um, so hopefully that doesn't bite us like the, uh, event did early on. Okay. So next, uh, we are going to play Ambassador Smith and the directorio is up first. It looks like they have some special instructions here, so we'll check what those are. And then the next card, oh, propaganda. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do based on the time of the video, I'm going to play through this card. And then the next video, we're going to go through the entire propaganda round um, and then continue play from there because hopefully someone won't have won by that point in time because that means we would have lost. Okay, <clears throat> so it's Ambassador Smith and the Syndicate are up first. What's the Syndicate going to do? Uh, Ambassador Smith, if the government is a player, choose Ops and Special Activity instead. They're not. So, uh, 26 July is the player. That's us. So, they are going to do the event. What's the event do? Shift Alliance one box up. Add plus nine aid, then add the lesser of plus nine or half aid round down to syndicate resources. Holy smokes. Okay. So, aid plus nine. The, this box is already up there at firm. So, they're not going to move the alliance box. But, they're going to add plus nine to the aid value which is at 15, so that's going to go all the way up to 24. That's actually quite bad because um, in the propaganda round, the government and the syndicate are going to get resources based on that aid value, and so they're going to get a ton more resources now because they're playing this card. Unfortunate timing. Okay, the lesser of plus 9 or half of aid. Aid is at 24, so half is 12, so plus 9 is the lesser value to the syndicate resources. So they're going to get plus nine. They're at 15. So they will also go up to 24 resources. Jeez, they're rich. So they did the event. Maybe I should have foreseen that coming. I don't know. I feel like we made some big moves though. So, all right. Then Directorio, what are they going to do? Can they terror in an active space? No. Um, six plus gorillas available. Yes. Uh, or rally would place base. Yes to both of those actually. So they're going to put all their gorillas to underground in those spaces, but they don't have any active 
gorillas, so they won't do that. They're going to place bases where there are at least three gorillas and room. We've got another one right here, so um, they're going to do this. That is going to, again, remove control. They don't control any spaces now. Um, so they have two bases, uh, but no population anymore. So their grand total should be at two instead of three. So I don't know what they think they're doing. Um, they're preparing a framework for the future. They're, they're building the infrastructure, I guess. Um, okay, yeah, because now when they rally, they're going to get a ton of guys in here and here. Um, so they did that there. Um, and that will cost one resource. They just have one left. So the next place they're going to rally is going to be um, at their base. They only have one other base. So their base, their rally says that if there's a base, up to population plus bases. So ours is like twice that, but um, they get population plus bases. And so they get um, two here because they have one base and one gorilla. So that's their second place. So they'll get two gorillas added here. And that will give them control. So see, they're just laying the groundwork and now that will shift back up Man, this is kind of annoying. Oh, geez. Okay. <clears throat> they shift that back up. And they pay their resource. And that was that. And now they can do their special activity, which I believe is going to be subvert yet again. Um, rally, then subvert. So this isn't this isn't true. Remove the most support. Um, they can only do this in a controlled place, so they only can do it in one location anyway because they only have one controlled space. So uh, highest population is one here. So they do get one resource back. Okay, great. So that was their operation and special activity. These go to ineligible, these go back, but what's going to happen is these are going to get reset anyway in the propaganda round. So um, just to give you a brief overview of what's going to happen, though, uh, spoiler alert for the next video. We're going to check if anyone's at their victory conditions. Nobody is. Thank God we, you know, they, the government wasn't able to make something happen while we were just sitting on our laurels here. Uh, then everyone's going to get some resources. Uh, some more than others, the government and the syndicate get a ton of resources, and then the uh, insurgent factions, the Directorio and 26th July, get far fewer. Then um, the government's going to be able to adjust support um, toward opposition by paying for it with their newly acquired resources. Then we're going to get a chance to adjust things back to terror. Um, Oh, crap. I don't know if we needed to actually actively sabotage this. Oh, my gosh. I need to look at that really quick be between videos. But um, I was hoping we'd get a chance to sabotage that EC. And that might only happen with the Terror. Let's just check right now. If It's one too late if... Yeah, it's one too late. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. Um, so we won't get to sabotage that. You see, because we're one turn too late. Like, if we would have been able to go on that next card, we would have been able to do that. Um, anyway, so we're going to be able to adjust uh, support and opposition. And then, basically, we're just going to reset everything. Um, oh, the government will also redeploy some of their troops uh, and make sure that they're locked into the cities as much as possible. And uh, we're going to reset everything and then continue along to the next card. So we will at least put this out here and see what the next card is. It's going to be Santo Traficante Jr. Um, 
ooh, there's a syndicate capability there, so I'm sure they want to play that, but that's neither here nor there right now. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video here, but I'm going to make sure that all of these markers are in their accurate spot. And uh, I'm going to check for control everywhere and, and all the, the good stuff. And in the next video, we'll start off with the propaganda round and then continue on from there. Uh, just a last reminder, there are actually four of these in the deck. And if we are, intend to win, we have to make it all the way to the fourth one. Um, and and <laughs> be winning at that point in time. Um, oh, but and then another last bit of good news is the government momentum is going to go away. So that'll be nice for us too. Anyway, happy trails, and uh, see you all next time. Bye-bye.